Hey, Risaki Hulu here in Tokyo. It's another beautiful day in the metropolis. I'm heading to work right now. As you can see, I'm in a very busy Tokyo area. I'm in Kabuki Show. And I am getting to this store over here, Sankas. That's the name of the store right there. So I'm pretty excited for this thing because you see all the magazines here. So I want to get this one right here, Glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this, this this magazine right here. So let's go ahead and buy it. So excited! Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Nine hundred yuan. 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 Check this out. This is the magazine that I got. I love it. The jeans and the topless. Looks really cool. They have a lot of editorials of like, you know, celebrities and overseas and what is trending and you know, it's like a gossip kind of magazine, but also with fashion and a lot of, you know, editorials. They they like this kind of cool stuff looking. So in the first page you have Diesel. And on the second page you have look at this. This is the photo I took, and it's already on a magazine. That's that's insane. So that's the that's the designer I took the pictures for. And her photo is one page in a magazine, on glitter. That's insane. So I wanted to take this time to just talk about the the magazine. Since I got to Japan, it's not the first real publication because I've been publishing, you know, like little pamphlets and stuff like that for clubs, and I've done photo shoots outdoors and and they do print my stuff here and there but this is the actual first fashion magazine that I've been published in and I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about it I'm, I feel like really blessed about it I think the most important thing for a photographer is to actually you know work for the people that you know to, to not just to work but to, to help the people that you're shooting for like in that magazine my name is not there you know, I didn't get contacted by the magazine and get paid by the magazine and asked to shoot an editorial for the magazine. Uh, what happened is that I worked for the designer and the designer got published. So, and the magazine actually selected this, this photos for the designer. And this is the first time the designer gets into a magazine. And it's it's amazing that you, you are working together with somebody and help them grow. And that that's how you shine, by, by helping them grow. Like if you open a magazine and you see... Dior and Chanel and stuff like that. You, it, there's no way you can actually find in that magazine where who was shouting for that uh, campaign or whatever. Like they don't give the credits to all the models and all that. Unless it's like very famous or whatever, then they put it on the side or whatever. But normally they don't do it. They don't need it. You know, your job is to help them grow and not to not to put yourself in front of them. You know, that's 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 what is the job of a photographer. You know. If you want to show yourself up, then you, you go from being a photographer behind the camera and you set yourself in front of the camera. Some photographers, I used to do it as well, they put like logos and what, uh, what is it called, uh, watermarks and their names and it has to be credited. And, I mean, it's not about that. If you are going to take a picture of something else that is not yourself, then let that something else shine by itself, you know. Um, and if people uh, gain something by letting by your work then they will come to you and they will recommend you and they will like make sure that you keep doing what you're doing if you cannot live in that then they're not going to get more pictures because you cannot do it anymore or something so it's most important i think to help them shine and that that will make you shine with them and uh, i think being a photographer is just it's just part of that helping other people achieve their dreams while you achieve yours so if you guys want to check out, uh, so if you guys want to comment anything, let me know what's up. I mean, this is my first publication since I got here in Tokyo a year ago, and it's going great. I think there's going to be a lot more stuff coming. I already have uh, own workings, other, other big projects, and yeah, subscribe if you're going to check more. I'm pretty open to you guys. Whatever you guys want to say or comment or ask, let me know, and you know, I'll be pretty happy to answer whatever I can or to share whatever my experiences are. You know, as long as I'm not restricted by any contract or whatever, I can definitely, you know, I am pretty open with every one of you guys. And um, I'm, I just want to do this to, to show my support and to be somebody that, you know, that you guys can, can trust, you know. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be saying lies or whatever. It's my point of view. It's, it's my experience only. But I'm open with it. You know, I'm not going to be secreting stuff. If I, if I didn't have money to eat this month or, you know, if I didn't uh, made any money or whatever, I can, I can totally be honest with you guys how much it costs and whatever. Um, that photo shoot, they paid me $500 to take those three pictures. Uh, we got a model from um, Florida, and I just met her uh, out of one of the social sites, um, Model Mayhem. I think it was Model Mayhem where I found her. She was uh, just traveling in Japan, and then I sent her a message. And the designer needed somebody with tan and long legs, and she just fit the profile and uh, said, Hey, do you want to shoot? Or, or she contacted me, I don't even remember. But it, it was just like totally random like that. It just, just, just by being exposed to the people, you know. And um, I asked her for pictures. I sent the pictures to the designer. And the designer uh, said, she's perfect. She, let's, let's use her. So she came to the photo shoot. And, um, and she just did those poses real quick. Bam, bam, bam. It was a pretty quick photo shoot. And um, then I retouched. I touched it, she didn't need much, she was, her skin was beautiful. Um, the most light retouch was actually the wall and the floor because it was a little bit marked, but, but her skin was pretty nice. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't try to edit, over edit it, make it look plastic or whatever. I tried to keep it raw. So in the picture, you, you can actually see like, like the texture of the skin and you can see like a few marks on the shoes and stuff. I was like, you know, I'm into the raw right now kind of thing, and um, not completely, of course, not not like just, just take the picture and give it to them, but I did, you know, increase the contrast and stuff like that to make it, you know, pop a little more, but I think that's what they liked right now, because it's, it's something that looked kind of real, and I think, you know, maybe 10 years ago or 15 years ago, everything was about shiny and glitter, and you know, the most magical, sparkly, glamorous kind of thing you can do. But right now, they want to see raw. They, they want to see real stuff. And you can totally see by the cover. I mean, it's just it's just really simple. No no extra flashy, fancy lighting and stuff like that. It's fun and stuff to do that. But um, at least the fashion industry, especially in Japan, they, they want simple stuff. So um, I don't know what else to, <laughs> to say. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm I'm here for for you guys. Whatever whatever you guys want to want to know. If you're curious about anything, all right. So see you guys.